Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and happy eight-year anniversary to FNAF. Apologies for not posting anything yesterday. I just wanted to relax a bit. I haven't done that on a FNAF anniversary in years, because I'm always streaming with you guys. Which, by the way, currently trying to set up a special charity stream this month. Hopefully, it's going to go well, so stay tuned for that. But it was just nice to sit back, relax on a very special day, watch some amazing videos by all the talented people in the community. Also, special shout-out, Daco. It's absolutely cool crazy he was listing off a bunch of people in his video and I somehow was among some of the names he listed that was really special and also shout out to everyone else of course all my YouTube friends all of you guys watching for giving me this opportunity but you're not here to listen to that you're here for all of the anniversary news we got yesterday and my goodness did we get a lot of exciting stuff unfortunately no posts about ruin no posts about the FNAF movie no posts from Scott but we still got a lot of news on merchandise some Fazbear fanverse stuff and also some official artwork and teases from a few companies so without further ado if you're excited Excited, hit the like button if you're new subscribe to the channel like 88% of the people watching are not subscribed Let's get to 50k by the end of the year first up. We got a bit of YouTube's news This wasn't necessarily posted on the anniversary, but it was still posted kind of close to it Kane Carter showed off some more details and better looks at the upcoming pop goes the weasel figure He looks absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to get him. He can also stand upside down he can do a headstand on his top hat and also you two showed off a official full reveal of the upcoming ignited freddy fanverse figure and a bit of his box on his box you can see him peeking through the office through a door you can also see him hiding behind the window in the bedroom mini game he's got a quote saying no light can save you now which is actually a nightmare freddy quote from ultimate custom night both these figures look awesome unfortunately no reveal for the upcoming candy the cat YouTube's figure for the fanverse, but hopefully we can get that in the future. Now let's go back to Pop Goes Arcade for the upcoming 2.3 update, and it looks like a lot of different changes are being made for the update. Kane put out a tweet saying Super Speed is now the first upgrade you get from BB's hit list in the West Forest. Number two, Money Boots is replacing the Crit Boost upgrade from BB's hit list. It gives you five coins for every 10 seconds of walking. And finally, number three, a 10% Crit Boost is now the default Crit chance. So that's a bit more detail on the upcoming update regarding Pop Goes Arcade. Not quite sure when it's going to be released. It seems like they're doing a lot of new changes and additions, so I'm happy they're taking their time with it. And now we can get into some anniversary posts we got yesterday. Starting off, we got some amazing artwork by Click Team. Happy birthday to the world's favorite pizza-loving bear, Freddy. They also encouraged a lot of community members to post their own anniversary artwork underneath the tweet. And so if you want to go check it out, brighten up your day, I'll leave the tweet link down below. Then of course, we were all expecting it. We got some more artwork for the anniversary from Steel Wool Studios. You got all the animatronics surrounding the night guard in the office peeking through. You also got the spring traps and Vanny at the bottom with a celebration cake. Some very cute art. And now let's move back to U2s with some more security breach merchandise. Because on the anniversary, we got officially revealed to us the Glamrock Freddy, Monty Gator, and Roxanne Wolf plushies from U2s. They did this in collaboration with regular sauce as you can see his amazing Glamrock Freddy cosplay in the picture. You can also see on the left side of the image the Pop Goes and Ignited Freddy U2s and on the right side that looks like the sleeve for I'm assuming Pop Goes. It looks like it has some green aesthetic to it and also you may notice there's no Chica in that image no Glamrock Chica plushie. Well thankfully sauce did confirm that there is a Chica plushie but he just didn't get it sent to them. Though he does say that she's just as adorable as the other so she looks good, people. Another very interesting piece of anniversary news. It looks like Cloak may be collaborating with FNAF once again. Cloak, if you don't know, is a clothing company owned by Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. And they tweeted out this fan-made image of the cupcake from FNAF, hinting towards either another wave of FNAF collaboration products, or maybe they're going to be restocking some of their old products. It's unclear right now. Hopefully, we'll get another update with this news pretty soon. And now we move on to some of the big stuff, starting off with brand new Hex merchandise. A while ago, we got teased Wave 3, which is the toy characters, Toy Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Balloon Boy. And in Daco's most recent video celebrating the FNAF anniversary, he showed 
upload off some images of the prototype. Let's, let's make that clear. Prototype plushies. These are not final. These still have changes to go through, but this is a look at prototype Toy Freddy. And then here's a look at some prototype limbs for Toy Bonnie. Now, I believe Daco said they're going to be changing the materials for these plushies because unlike the FNAF 1 crew, the toys are made of plastic. So he said they're going for a smoother material that represents plastic. And now we move on to Hex fanverse plushies. This is something we were speculating for quite a bit because the Hex Twitter account was always replying to Kane and Emil, and we finally got revealed to us, yes, Candy and Popgoes are getting Hex plushies. This is what they look like. As you can see, Popgoes is going to be holding the head of Black Rabbit, and Candy's going to be holding a burger representing the burger and fries from the FNAC games. Now, what's interesting is that Daco and Kane and Emil all hinted towards more fanverse plushies being made in the future. Now, they didn't say who's going to be made after Pop Goes and Candies, but if they do make some, these images could hint to who's going to be next. Not only does this image show off that they're going to be releasing in late 2022 the Candy and Pop Goes Hex plushies, but it also says a bonus from Hex to be revealed at another time. The Pop Goes one has bonus highlighted in yellow, and the Candies one has bonus highlighted in pink. Now, I'm not saying this is confirmed, but Blake the badger's color is yellow and cindy's color is pink so maybe if we get more hex fanverse plushies down the line we'll see cindy and blake but for right now all we have confirmed is pop goes and candies late this year and finally again we got the funko fanverse plushies of pop goes and candy oh my gosh they look so so good in my opinion they absolutely nailed these plushies even pop goes has a full-on vest with plushies like captain foxy i think they just printed on the vest but he looks great. He's got a full-on vest. He's got a bow tie. He's got the awesome top hat. Candy has his segmented tie. They each have little fangs poking out. Oh my god. They just look so cute. They look so cute. I've been gushing over these guys for like the full 24 hours. And what's even more exciting is that they're estimated to be released this month, later this month on the 25th of August. Kane did show off another view of the Pop Goes plushie, confirming he does have a tail. And because these are exclusive to GameStop, he says, for those asking whether these plushies will arrive in other countries, I don't know. And neither does Scott. We really hope so, but at the moment, it seems to be an undisclosed agreement between Stryker, if you don't know, Stryker Entertainment is actually the company that has the license to FNAF, and Funko. If I find out the answer, I will share. And there is one more plushie we need to talk about, the classic Blake the Badger Funko plush. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, it looks great. No, he looks great. He looks awesome. So this is classic Blake the Badger. If you're wondering why he's classic Blake, it's because this is the design from 2016, not Blake's design from Pop Goes Evergreen. Kane says, due to some miscommunication, Funko used references of Blake the Badger from the original 2016 Pop Goes game for this product, rather than from Pop Goes Evergreen. Instead of scrapping the plushie entirely, we have decided to release it in a very limited run as a special classic version of Blake. Batches of this plushie have already been shipped to GameStops across the US, but the plan is that they will not reorder or restock it. An Evergreen Blake plushie might be considered in the future to replace classic Blake, but this is not confirmed yet. So basically saying, this dude is going to be unbelievably rare. He will probably be the rarest FNAF plushie ever because they're restocking him or they're stalking him only once ever in the entirety of this plushie's existence. And then he's not being sent out to any more stores. I'll admit, I kind of like him. He looks goofy in a, in a cute way, in my opinion. I like him. I don't think he's too, too bad. Of course, he's still not obviously good, but I am hopeful that we do get an evergreen Funko plushie. I think that could look amazing. And those are our three brand new fanverse Funko plushies. You got Pop Goes the Weasel, Blake the Badger Classic from Pop Goes 2016, and also Candy the Cat, all exclusive to GameStop. I was just this close to posting this video, and Jason Blum, the man behind the FNAF movie, just did the unthinkable. Jason just put out a tweet saying, it's great to be working with Jim Henson's Creature Shop, their experience and expertise with animatronics is absolutely killer. And in the image, you can see this fine young man, I appreciate you so much, designing a animatronic suit for an actor to wear in the FNAF movie. That is Freddy goddang Fazbear. He's making a Freddy suit. 
Oh my god, we finally got some FNAF news. It's finally making progress. Yes. This is, this is huge. This is huge. They're designing suits that people are going to be wear, that people are going to be wearing for the film. This is crazy. So that does debunk a few theories going around, actually. Um, I believe back when the movie was being worked on by Warner Brothers, they were making animatronics, like real animatronics that were going to be used for the film. It looks like with Blumhouse, it seems like they're now going to be taking the approach of people in costumes, which if you've seen the Banana Splits movie and Willy's Wonderland can be pulled off well if you do it right the banana splits did not do it right willie's wonderland did it pretty well luckily blumhouse is a very very um great studio a very great studio in regards to making small budget films that look phenomenal so i'm really really hoping uh i'm hoping it's gonna be good i'm hoping they get fantastic actors this is crazy this it's finally making some progress oh my god thank you jason Oh, geez. Anyway, so that's a very quick update on the FNAF film. They're making progress. Yes. And that will do it for this anniversary news video. I know some people are disappointed we didn't get any updates on the movie. No updates on the Ruin DLC, but I'd imagine those updates will come pretty soon, hopefully. And even Scott said that a lot of big things are coming out later this year, so maybe we're just still waiting on a few more updates. But in my opinion, this was a fantastic anniversary. I'm so glad the fanverse kind of took center stage. It shows the growth of FNAF as a franchise. And of course, mad respect. I'm so proud of Kane and Emil and everyone working on the fanverse. This is a it's an incredible milestone official merchandise coming out this year so what announcement this year got you the most excited is it the fanverse plushies is it more hex coming out later this year or was it some youtube's figures and plushies let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you guys watching and sticking through me if you, if, if you actually don't know my channel is turning five years old in a couple of days on august 15th so august is a very special month for me fnaf the channel it's um it's surreal FNAF, eight years, my channel, five years. But thank you guys so much. Genuinely, um, it means the world to me. So, thanks. That was a lame outro, and I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye.